Hey everyone, uh, this is a surprise video. I didn't plan on doing this, but then, but then I thought, like, come on, let's do it. Who cares? I did the Overture teaser trailer. The Fontaine trailer is gonna be similarly that way, right? So here's my reaction. I'll give my thoughts, and basically, yeah, I'll just talk about what we're gonna get on August 16th. All right, let's begin. So we open I'm not up sure in a... exactly when it began, but a yeah, prophecy no has been circulating think... around Fontaine. I think Lenny is speaking this. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. All right, I think this prophecy. I mean, I think this has already happened before once. I mean, it's my personal guess, but I think Forcelor is hiding her true personality, and she. Ha acts like a brat just to hide something and that's what i feel all right let's continue with the underwater thing i Fosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation of hydro and she's so and acknowledge oh, the value day. and the significance of your trip now you may rejoice in this all right i read i mean there's this guy on this hot air balloon I saw somewhere that people thought was Dottore. But honestly, I, I cannot see that. I don't see the blue hair. I don't see... I don't see the resemblance to Dottore. If that's the case, it'll be. But f my perspective, I don't think that's Dottore. I think that could be a, an NPC or someone. I'm not sure. I mean, like, I don't see the cape. The outfit, it doesn't match him. I, I don't know how people saw him. I have no idea. Alright, we got this. The new area. Honestly, it looks like something out of like a futuristic city. Like, you know, all those futuristic cities you have where uh, you have this connecting metro lines and you have this huge metro lines. Like, I don't know, it just looks pretty cool. In your opinion, do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's an opera? All right, we got our first look at Navia. Or as people like to call her on Twitter, Taylor Swift, I don't know why, but yeah. She's a must pull for me. I'm gonna get her. To the people of Fontaine, the line between a trial and a performance can be a little blurred. All right, so, oh my God, okay. I just wanna talk about how beautiful this looks. Like the lighting, the, fo the font, what am I saying? Not the fountain. The fountain. Yeah, the fountain. The the stars in the background. It just looks so pretty. Pretty. I mean, I never expected Genshin to look like this at all. So, like, just seeing this is pretty amazing. One and all to the opera epicles. I Watch hope this is an now. explorable area, like the inside of the opera. And you might miss it. All right, we got our first look at Linny. You know, I'm actually building my pity on Kokomi's banner right now. So I don't know if I if I don't get if I can't reach soft pity on Kokomi, right I'll probably go for this dude right here. And if I win 50-50, we're gonna get Linny. Lynette, if I don't, we'll have to get Alright, lady. I really love Lynette. Out of all the Fontaine characters that are releasing in 4.0, she's the one that I want the most. Simply because she's animal, and I really like her, like her design, and her introvertish personality. I kind of relate to it, so I just love that that thing of her. Let the magic begin! Here comes the finale. It's funny that there were rumors that people thought Linny and the net would be a single unit, but I'm glad they're different units. And then we have the the odd one out, Fremenet. Alright, uh, you know, this exactly reminds me of the vineyards. Like, I don't know why, but just now looking at it, I remembered The Witcher 3. This, for some reason, I have no idea why. This gave that Tissant vibe. The sound was also actually, I think, inspired from France, I think, so yeah, just, uh, you can get the vibes. I want to spend some time at the bottom of the sea, 
in peace. Alright, yeah, he's the new Gakko. Get in gear! Fremine. I'm not that hyped for him, I don't know. I'll decide when we meet him in the story. Going he's on. just like a cryo claymore and honestly I just got Eula so from far enough underwater. I don't Even know, I don't, I don't feel the hype nice. for him right now. These it might change when you explain the story. Left of these beautiful creatures. I wonder how long before the rest of the world becomes part of this underwater museum too. Okay. We also we got to know that part of Fontaine is submerged underwater. Like in the past that thing happened and the current fontaine that we're seeing is actually a newer version of the city that's been built so i don't know them there's going to be a lot of history i think with this like with sumeru we had a lot of history with the aranara and and the desert and all like greater lord rukadevata and everyone but here i think we're going to have more more history on the city itself rather than the cactus I'm okay, I have no idea who this is. Like, there's a fin, so it's definitely a fish, but I don't know. Could be a mermaid. Wait, who am I? And I don't recognize the voice also. I don't know. If, if somebody recognizes, please tell me who it is, because I, I could not understand it. Alright, this boss. I think I just want to talk about this boss, but this boss is, it's beautiful, in a tragic way. Like you see these two, I don't know, I've seen clips of their fights and they like dance, they dance while they attack you and they're meant to be together. It's just so tragically beautiful, I don't know why. I mean, I, I would honestly feel sad fighting them for boss materials. The water is gradually swallowing our memories. Okay, right here I think we can spot Aether, Paimon and Yuvalet while Lenny is doing a performance and uh, Lynette is standing on top. Now, I don't know how this would go out. It won't be but long before it swallows us. Yes, We've been trying to, to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has a consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? It is all these lore stuff that we don't know yet. Rain. Okay, I think it's raining. Yeah, I think this is the first time I'm seeing rain inside. Oh wait, maybe I think Inazuma had rain for the story quest. It would be pretty cool if Fontaine has actual rain, like while exploring the world. Although over here it feels like rain is a very unusual thing, and it shouldn't happen in Fontaine. That's why they're pretty shocked. I'm not so sure, but I think because Navia's line right here, it's raining like she, it sounds like she's confused. And as the trailer is called, as light rain falls without reason, so I think rain sp speaks about like it's an omen for something bad. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. All right, look, something happened to Lynette. I don't know what. And let's just go back. In order to deal and with that see it again. Crisis. So like, yeah, she is. She's, she senses something. And then suddenly, I don't know what, but I think she's forgetting herself. Or she's teleported. Is something this happens. Part of the show? And then you see... Like her clothes. Like she's vanished, basically. Her clothes are the only thing. Gotta be I don't kidding. know why that's happening. I have no idea charges what have now been pressed. And now this suddenly comes up like what charges have been pressed? What have I done? I was just an attendee for the performance. How does that relate to me? I have no idea. And as such, a trial is in order. Therefore, you will be wise to tell here. everything you know and seek the protection of the guards. Alright, if I look behind. There's probably a monster that I that probably the mecha guard or whatever they call that I have that's probably destroyed behind them. Navia was protecting us, I think. That's what I'm guessing that's happening right here. It's a whole army of Gardamax. I believe And Fosilar here is sitting doing something. 
I don't know. This is indeed the finale. Your so-called justice. The oh, music here. Not the drop. Drop. It is all Suffering of the people. That was amazing. In your eyes, the value of a human life is nothing compared to those cold laws you hold so dear. All right. First thing, the dialogue. I'm going to talk about child later. So the dialogue here. I think it's meant for Fosalor because she's like too obsessed with the laws of a nation that he forgets that humans are a thing. Kind of similar to how Zhongli like honors a contract where Zhongli knows how to treat humans. Well, I think Fosalor cannot differentiate between her laws and the human life and we already know that the previous Hydro Archon died so first law is a much more recent Archon kind of like Nahida. I mean she's older than Nahida but still she's relatively new so I think that's what I think first law would have a really important arc in this part and now we have child so in honor of his entrance and his appearance in the Fontaine story I'm going to level 85 him I'm going to build his talents like right before Fontaine I'll make a video on it as well preparing child for Fontaine because I have him and I will be disrespectful if I don't use him at all for the story so this is how justice is done in Fontaine what a joke is You've got your rules. Pretty badass as well. Well, I've got mine too. But this made me. All right, that that end music made me appreciate Child a lot more, and I really want to build him now. He was my first five-star character. Can you believe that? I haven't built him at all because at the time that I got him, I did not want him. I just did a funny multi like a YOLO multi and he came at like 44 pity I have no idea how it was my first 50-50 win as well I honestly no idea I did not want that guy but over the course of time and while playing I find, gradually grew fond of him and now I'm just like I need to build him so that's the art it's beautiful I mean right now I'm speechless I don't know what else to say it's gonna be an amazing, amazing patch. And as the votes are saying on my poll, I'll I will definitely cover the entire story up till 4.2, or any of the Archon quests that come up in the 4.x series. Probably do start from now. Till then, that was my first review of the trailer. There's a lot of stuff left that I could react to but let's keep that for 16th August right when Fontaine actually releases anyways hope you enjoy and I'm hyped I hope you're hyped as well do check out my other videos give a like give a subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day bye